Outrocast. Hey, Manny, can you hear me okay? Hey, Darren, can you hear me okay? I can hear you. I can see you. Is your Perfect. day going fine so far? So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> now, we were connected to talk about your new movie, Night of the Sicario. Do you say Sicario or Sicario? Uh, Sicario. Okay, Night of the Sicario. There you uh, go. Yet, it's only one of many projects you've got coming out and that you've been working on and all that. But before I ask about that, am I getting you from Washington Heights? No, I'm actually down in Miami. Nice. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, no, but I was in Washington Heights two days ago and I got here yesterday, but, you know, I'm in Miami, which is a big difference in the, just everything. The, everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Well, if you're going to be holed up doing media, might as well do it where the weather is nice and all that. Exactly. It worked out. <laughs> so night of the sick Hario, not sick <laughs> It when, was work. It, when was it actually filmed and completed? It was actually shot two months prior to the uh, lockdown, to the uh, pandemic. And, uh, and it was shot in Pennsylvania. Got it. Yeah. Uh, that is the most recent film that I've ever heard in months and months of doing interviews. I'm always hearing, uh, 2017, 2018, we oh, were really? <laughs> No, yeah, th this was during the winter which is crazy because, we, you know, the film takes place during a hurricane. Yeah. So we had to have these big, mount, huge uh, uh, water trucks. And so being cold and being wet, it wasn't a good thing. But, it, you know, it turned out to be a, uh, at the end of the day, it's a good product. You know, I saw it the other day and I was very impressed with it. Yeah, great cast. Uh, one thing I couldn't figure out easily, had you worked with anybody from the cast before? I worked with Costa before. Um, we did a prior film, but I haven't worked with anyone else. Uh, even with Natasha, it was my first time. And it was, I was so looking forward to working with her and meeting her. So that was fun. The director also first time? Yeah, the first time with the director. I'm a, I used to be a, well, I am a big fan of his work. He, he was a, a, he's a tremendous first AD. Done a lot of films, uh, huge Hollywood films. And I also knew the producer. I did a film prior, prior with him as well. Got it. Okay. So it wasn't a traditional audition kind of process because you knew some of the crew involved. Exactly. Well, the, 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 the producer knew of my work. So he called me up. He's like, I got the script. Are you interested? I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. So yeah, that's how the whole thing came about. <laughs> that sounds great. Were there? Uh, I like to ask when it's a horror or a thriller kind of movie, if there were laughs on the set, because it looks like it's such an intense film, but you have to imagine, or at least I do when they call cut, that there's some laughs going on. Yeah, no, I mean, the good thing is, you know, working with Natasha was great. I'm, again, I'm a big fan of her. And what's yeah. crazy is that I had the biggest crush on her throughout growing up. <laughs> so meeting her, I was like, oh my gosh, she hasn't changed at all. So, and then the, the girl, the little girl who plays, her name is Addison. She plays the, the daughter. She was amazing also, which first, it was her first film. So we, we, everybody was treated like a family on set, even though we were the Sicarios, we were, you know, all treated just a, a, a small family. Plus I feel like with indie films like this one, uh, you had to get along. You just had to get along. <laughs> Yeah, well, as I mentioned before, uh, you have a lot of projects in the works. When I look at your IMDb page, I think there's like nine other movies that are listed as production, post-production. Is that even complete? Like, or are there 15 movies at this no. point? No, no, I think out of those, I think three of those are complete and they're doing post-production on it. The others are gonna start. They were delayed because of the pandemic. So now they're gonna begin again, uh, uh, hopefully, you know, soon enough. But, um, but things are slowly starting to pick up, you know, which is a good thing for, for yeah. the industry and for, for actors. So, you know, fingers are crossed and let's move forward, I say, you know. Having so many credits like you do, you are not pigeonholed by TV or film or one genre. It's kind of hard to describe what you do, except he's great at what he does. Sometimes he's funny, sometimes he's intense, that kind of thing. When did this exactly feel like a career for you? Was there exact role or moment? Well, yeah, I, exactly. Everything picked up for me when I, when I got cast in a, a Sidney Lumet TV series called 100 Center Street, 
for A and E uh, in 2000, and I guess the beginning of 2000, 2001 and 2000, we did two seasons of it, and the whole just that that playing that character uh, just changed my career. Since then, I, you know, thank God I haven't stopped working, but that changed my career. Um, it was just like it was like the first time on 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 on, on prime time that you saw a Latino lawyer. Uh, uh, usually, again, I always play the stereotypical bad guys, and in <laughs> that one, I play this lawyer who, uh, um, you know, and um, Latino, and uh, that sort of changed my career. That makes sense. To that, what you just said that it changed the path of what we thought. Well, he's a Latino character, so he has to be blank. Did you know when you read the role at first that? hey, this is really breaking type and this could be really great for me? Or is it, yes, I'll work? No, at that time, you, are, you, are you referring to the Sidney Lumet show? Yes. The lawyer? Yeah, no, it was just, uh, I read the script and I, I'm like, well, this character is so different than anything I've read for, for especially prime time. Yeah. And so I wanted to be in it no matter what. So the director, Sidney Lumet, just loved what I did and offered me the role. And I'm like, yes, you know, this would definitely change the way people look at me. Uh, prior to that, I was always playing the bad guy. By the way, I still play the bad guys, but now I sort of learned how to find the heart in these in these characters. For example, yeah. even in in, Lee, in in this film, um, uh, Night of the Sicario, uh, the, the Sicario character that I play, I sort of make them likable. I make them just three dimensional, where it's not just stereotype at all. Where this guy has a heart. Where this guy is actually uh, you know, doubted his faith, which is something interesting about this 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 project that it talks about people doubting their faith, which mm-hmm. I've never seen in a film, especially a Sicario that talks about he lost his faith. That's unheard of. So that's what I sort of love, love about these types of characters. And I try to always try to find the heart in, you know, in them. Well, going back to geography here, you mentioned that this film is made in Pennsylvania, that you were in Washington Heights a couple of days ago. I would say as recent as 10 years ago, you still needed to be in L.A. or New York to make it as an actor. Are you finding nowadays that you could just live wherever you want because the shoots are not just New York and L.A.? Yeah, yeah, 100 percent. And and the crazy thing is that also with this pandemic, we have learned how to, well, we perfected what, what they call self-tape. Self-tape is when an actor does mm-hmm. an audition. Prior to this, we, used to, we had to go to the casting director's office and do it face-to-face. Nowadays, right. you can just do it with a camera. And, uh, and so that really is helping actors return, not just live in LA or New York, but return back to their hometown, Ohio or Virginia, or whatever they come from, and just shoot it from there because nowadays everything is being shot elsewhere, not just New York or LA. Yeah, I mentioned Washington Heights before. The lead actress on the Saved by the Bell reboot, uh, Haskiri Velasquez, she talked about being from there and being very proud. Are there a lot of actors in or around Washington Heights and we just haven't realized it? No, it's, it's uh, I didn't know that she was from Washington Heights either, which is surprising. Uh, there's a few, uh, you know, I know another two actors from Washington Heights, but, you know, um, um, but hopefully there'll be a lot more, you know, um, um, that's how, um, you know, yeah, hopefully there'll be a lot more. Right. Well, acting aside, uh, what do you like to do with yourself? You're, you've kind of mis- maintained that mystique over the years where, I don't know, does he play golf? Did, <laughs> does he listen to heavy metal? I, I got no idea about Manny. You know what's crazy? I like to cook. It's that's I love cooking, man. I should have been a chef. Uh, 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 I come from a family of eleven kids, so my mom taught all of us how to cook. So we know how to cook. So and I, to me, that's like what I love to do. I also love to write. I love to write my own projects, write my own scripts, and 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 in the process, learn how to produce them. So which I have, mm-hmm. I think I produce like four of my own projects. Um, so that's what I do on my, you know, on my off time. But yeah, uh, this whole thing is acting. The acting life is 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 a learning process. As you get older, you learn other elements to help you move your career forward. You know, is it one of those things where the older you get, 
the more you realize you don't know because you start to hear all these people older than you giving you advice that you never considered. That is 100% correct. And you know what's crazy is that the older I get, the more I see my project that I've done. And I'm like, wow, I sucked then. <laughs> I can't believe I was doing that type of work. Now is when I'm doing my best work. And I'm sure that in 10, in 10 more years, I'll look back and say, oh, wow, my work in, in Night of the Sicario was horrible. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like you, every year you learn more, you mature more, and you sort of just learn how to just live in the moment and not act in the moment, you know? And I feel like most actors are always acting. And it's just, it's all about living, you know? Oh, yeah. Listening to my interviews from when I was a teenager 15 years ago, oh, God awful. <laughs> <laughs> so I can relate on that. Ed. Uh, so two quick questions and then you're free. The first one is, do you have a TV recommendation you could pass along to somebody who needs a new show to start? Well, one of the best show I've ever seen, uh, ever, 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 is called The Killing. I'm not sure if you saw that TV series. My wife did, yeah. What? Your wife did it? Oh, she did. Uh, the, <laughs> she's the more the thriller, the horror person, and I'm more the comedy documentary guy, but oh, okay. ultimately you have to watch what your spouse watches. Okay, I'll go. so she watched it. Not she did the show, because I was like, oh my gosh, she's a goddess. Oh. <laughs> because that show is like one of the best shows ever. Uh, so I recommend, highly recommend that show. Yeah, got it. <laughs> and then my closer to you, and this goes to you because I feel like you made it. And a lot of actors feel like, well, you know, I didn't make it because this person's doing better than me. But the fact that you've been steadily working for so long, you're, it's a career. So my closer to you is any last words for the kids? Well, this is what I got to say. And thank you for saying that I made it. I feel like I haven't. I, have, I got a lot more to do to go. But this is what I got to say. You know, I was born in the mountains of Dominican Republic. I didn't speak English at all. I came here when I was 10 years old. I learned. I studied. Uh, I, 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 you know, perfected what I was trying to do. And I feel like if I came from a different country and I'm working in Hollywood doing all these great films with great actors, if I can do it, I feel like the kids nowadays, they could, just, they could be president of this country <laughs> if they put their mind to it. That's how I look at it. <laughs> that is an awesome point. Well, I appreciate your time. I'm looking forward to everything that's coming from you, whether you're the actor the producer, the writer, or all the above. So keep it up, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Outrocast.